Hey, this is another video I just thought I'd put out. Um, sorry for any problems. I'm not that good at this yet. But um, I've been looking into upgrading my computer because I haven't bought a new one at all in about five years. And the last one was a laptop. So I was looking around for a um, computer. Um, I can build one, but the expensive parts and stuff these days so bad that I actually looked in the pre-built and I looked all over Staples and Walmart and all these other places and the quality was obviously crap um, lots of bad reviews lots of problems and even ignoring that the availability of most things was sold out or the prices were sky high when I started finding computers that were two to three thousand dollars at Walmart I figured why not try one of the better places and several people have recommended this place Origin and surprisingly you can build a decent computer for about one and a half to two thousand dollars or a really nice computer for about two to three thousand so I figured I'm gonna pay that anyway I may as well get a good one um, my experience with this place so far has been pretty good um, this is a little preemptive video of me how I bought the computer um, I haven't actually received it yet so I can't talk about that I will say the website is somewhat confusing and unuser friendly. You have this page that lets you compare, which is a pretty good thing. And these are the prices if you take all the defaults of what comes with it. I tended to like the mid tower size. It seemed to have the best, lowest price obviously, but also some of the best uh, standards. Um, the big difference I've noticed is the bigger ones is not only are they bigger, but they allow you to have the cryogenic hardline liquid cool for both the CPU on this one and then the GPU for this one. The thing about those is they're not sealed liquid systems. They're this super dense gel stuff it pumps through or whatever, and it does require refills and replacements and maintenance that I didn't want to deal with. So I just got this, which does have the frostbite liquid cooling, and depending on which one you pick, you can get a sealed one that doesn't technically require maintenance, they say, but maybe once in a great while you will. But this is the gaming page. I actually did look at the professional pages, too, just to see the difference. And the professionals are actually a bit cheaper to start with, but obviously then you got to add the graphics cards and everything else, which raises the price to about the same anyway. Um, depending on what promotional deals are going on at the time, it might be a cheaper option even if you are looking to make a video game or if you don't have super high requirements because you just want to play Minecraft or something. But I did take the Neuron. I looked at both um, and it just seemed like the Neuron had a slightly better price for what I got. And then after you pick your thing, you can pick over here. You can read through all this. It, gives you the promotional type stuff of what's in the box the standard without any options but I didn't stick with the standard obviously so you want to go over here and hit customize even if you don't want to buy anything you have to hit customize I mean if you don't want to change anything um, to go through this page this thing is kind of a little option because you get all these options and you get told the price difference and then little graph over here gives you a vague idea of the difference this is just the tower page the most basic of basic options I actually went through all this several times because there's a slight flaw if you go over here when you're logged in you can um, well no you'd be at least the second page and you can click save changes where is it oh there we go save and it'll save all the cho choices you've made up to this point or you could load one the problem I've had with this is if you save changes on something you've already made edits to it'll and you go back to delete the old one it'll delete all the ones on that basic thing so if I got into this one loaded it up made one or two changes inside to save it I couldn't delete this entry without all of them going away for that entry this was the one I picked for the battle box the most expensive and you know with two graphics cards and all that it got to about three and a half thousand um, obviously I was just fooling around to see what the best computer possible would look like um, 
the one I actually did end up going with was this one, uh, the Neuron with two 1070s. Um, final was about 3.1000 or so. It was like 3,158 or whatever. Um, but the other problem I have with this option is as you mess around with the things, you'll notice when I click load, it goes back to the very first page every single time. My choices are st still here. I pick this, you know, tower because it looked a bit cooler and it had better, you know, ventilation and stuff. But I still have to click continue multiple times to get back to where I was or whatever. I can't just click on step three or step four or whatever, you know. So I found that rather inconvenient. Obviously, I didn't really screw around with fancy colors or lights because I didn't really think it was important. But um, the options of changing things is pretty nice. Um, on most of the steps, you will get uh, descriptions of what the changes do. This is probably one of the worst pages in that you're picking a processor or whatever. Um, and you get a little graph. You get some st statistics like speed and stuff the watt draw and all that, and then the name of the actual product that you can look up elsewhere and a price, but that's it. You can't click on much of anything here to get a better details or compare. So you're kind of picking blind. I mean, you only really have a couple things to look at. You know, this, the power, the L3 cache size, and all that. Um, you can't even tell how many cores there are or anything like that I don't think from this page so that's rather annoying but you don't it's not super important because you can make choice changes later I picked this one because it's one of the cheapest and it seemed to have the best uh, support for multiple video cards and stuff like that I mean I don't know I tried looking stuff up pretty well but it's all pretty conflicting and I would say the MD choice is obviously pretty good too um, if you want to spend a lot more money, this one's obviously really good, but it does have a bigger power draw, which costs more electricity and stuff, but bigger L3 cache and really fast speeds and stuff, but it was more than I was willing to pay. So uh, the main page is, I think this one, where almost all the customization actually comes from. This is the one where you get a lot of choices. Um, yeah, the build system. So you can actually click up here, default, um, automatically selects certain things, which is what you get naturally. But you can also click price, which goes by the cheapest, I believe, and then origin recommended, which would automatically pick everyone that says recommended here, which, I mean, might be a good idea, but it'll be a little bit more expensive than I'd want for some things. Or you can go through it all and click it. And... Um, there's a lot of special offers. Um, they seem to overlap because I was actually looking at computers over between two months. Um, usually get free shipping on most of the computers I saw, which is nice because it was like $50 if you didn't um, for basic ground shipping. And then more than that if you went super fast. Uh, you can get a free copy of Far Cry 5 if you get that one video card. But... I never really even saw the option to have an RX Vega in my setup, so I don't know if it was a conflict with the uh, processors and stuff I picked, but um, you get some other free stuff, and this can change. Um, I don't know if it's on here later still or got taken away, but the one I did was basically all this, and they gave me a free t-shirt, um, you know, whatever. Uh, this is always picked automatically from I wouldn't see it's just there to the default lighting I didn't pick any because I don't want to waste money I did take the stealth fans because I know computers can be loud and I don't want that especially if I'm going to try to make videos like this um, power supply I did the 850 um, it's not I don't think it's necessary for what I picked but I just went a little higher than I needed because I had problems in the past where my video cards would take too much power and it would just crash my system and it took me a long time to figure out why it would shut down every once in a while but it was whenever the video card kicked in so I don't want to ever deal with that again 
Um, you can click the learn, learn more button and stuff like this will show up and give you some details and you can actually select a few things and compare. The problem is, is again, you're not really given much details to compare with. Sometimes they don't even have things to compare, like the same stats. Um, I uh, highly suggest if you're really, you know, trying to pick out something to copy the name, obviously, and do a search separately through like, you know, parts picker or somewhere else to get a better detailed thing with reviews and stuff. Um, none of the ones that they offer seem to be that bad, but you know, there's choices and figuring out if you need that much or not. The origin recommended, you'll notice, tends to always point towards um, sort of the best item. Not necessarily the most expensive, but the best value for money or whatever. And in many cases, it is the most expensive, but not always. Um, I obviously didn't pick fancy cables because they don't do anything different. They're just colored and I didn't want to spend the money. I did pick this motherboard because it allowed two video cards. Um, it also had some other things. Like you, you can't see much here, but again, if you hit and learn more, you, more shows up. Oh, and I just noticed the price of this went up a little bit. Must have been one of those special deals that I had picked previously is gone because mine was only 158 instead of 207. But um, this is the cooling part. Uh, standard air cooling is just a fan, but you can get the frostbite systems here, which is like pretty cool liquid cooling for the CPU in this case. Um, and they say they're 100% maintenance free, which from what I've seen online of any sealed cooling system is pretty true. I mean, you probably have to clean the uh, radiator once in a while to get the dust off and stuff like that, but you don't have to change out the liquids and flush the system with cleaners or anything like that, which is very important to me. Uh, I picked the 240 because it wasn't much more expensive than the 120. Um, the 360, again, isn't all that much expensive, but I was trying to limit my prices despite spending over $3,000 on a computer. Um, and I didn't see the point. The CPU is usually not that big of an issue, and I couldn't get a computer with a GPU or a liquid cooler without getting the one that does require maintenance that I didn't want to deal with. Processors, I sort of splurge and just picked the most expensive best one. I looked at some of the details and, you know, it was six core, you know, pretty fast speed. Some other details that I found on here. Um, for most people, you could probably get by with a four core or even a lower speed six core, depending on what you really want to do. Um, Honestly, the processing speed has never been something that really held back my computer very often. It's usually either the hard drive or RAM or something, but you know, whatever. Future proofing my computer a little bit, you know. Um, moving down, I didn't pick any overclocking options. Like I get, I picked more than I needed, so I didn't overclock it because I didn't want to wear it out possibly faster or overheated or anything. And I did pick the thermal compound option, even though it's a really easy thing to do. I just didn't want to mess with my computer too much after I get it, so I don't accidentally void the warranty somehow. So, I maybe mess with it after the warranty's over with, but that's about all I was picking from. Uh, this is one of the major off reasons why I picked Origin PC over everything else, is just because I couldn't find graphics cards at decent prices anywhere. Um, I do notice the prices change somewhat differently depending on what bundle you pick. Like any of the gaming PC bundles seem to have the graphics cards be like a hundred or so dollars less than if you picked a professional PC and added the graphics card to it. I don't know if they give you a discount or it's just based on cheaper upgrading or whatever, but I noticed that a GTX 1070 was about 500 bucks. Um, yeah and then you know all these other ones were at pretty decent prices um except for the titan which is just insane i actually went with the two uh dual 1070s it's sort of a splurge but i figured it's a little bit of future proofing um worst case scenario i could take it out and probably sell it for more than i paid for it here so you know why not um it was sort of why I got the computer in the first place, so I didn't want to 
go cheap on the video card after all. Um, without two video cards or even a cheaper video card, because you could easily get by with a 1060 6 gigabyte for almost all video games these days anyway. So this computer was something like 2300 2400 without the more expensive computers. As you saw in my build list, I had an option where I didn't pick such a big card, and it was significantly cheaper. Uh, no overclocking for that either. Um, memory is sort of important. I went with the cheapest of the best uh, me thing, uh, memory sticks because it has two 8 gigabytes, which was an important thing to me because my computer has four slots technically. So I wanted to not have to deal with super low sticks like four gigabyte sticks that I'd either have to replace or take out to get better memory. Um, I couldn't afford to get any of the 16 gigabyte stick options, you know, like the 32 here or anything. So I just want this. This one is actually slightly lower uh, processing or whatever speed, the megahertz. But it does have a better um, latency or whatever by a second or something. So it's technically better than this one, even though it's lower speed or it's different in some way. But I could get two eight gigabytes for, you know pretty cheap in total of 16 gigabytes of RAM for about the same price as this one but it's better slightly and you know more options more choices um, you know your stuff like that this I this is actually a pretty interesting thing it's memory just just put on your disk drive to like sort of preload programs and stuff I didn't pick it because again money and um, I picked an SSD so I didn't need it as much um, I highly pick this is the really important thing your primary operating drive system you know you can pick anything but I would highly suggest an SSD just because it's faster to load and to run and everything else um, I did the 240 which is actually the order recommended um, you doesn't really matter I think you'll, you can get by the 120 if all you put on there is Windows basically um, and then I did eventually go down here I didn't this is sort of weirdly organized this is like there's a bunch of drive bays for hard drives on this I did take a two terabyte mechanical in one of the bays just to have a bigger storage but it, for things that aren't necessarily read all the time um, I picked an external optical drive because I do really like to have ability to play DVDs and stuff or in the case burn DVDs to store data that is too big for normal things but I want to keep um, I did the blu-ray writer just because it's sort of future proofing again and it wasn't that much more expensive and it's faster at burning even DVDs than this um, you don't have to pick this and it's something you could buy separately really easily but I looked and the prices are about the same as Amazon anyway which is what it's for most of this the prices are little to no different than Amazon so you're not really paying that much uh, I didn't pick any software, audio, I mean sound cards are important but not super important even with recording audio once in a while. Um, I picked the just the basic network card. Um, I had looked into getting some of these, you know, the internal wireless card. I think my motherboard I picked has a built-in Wi-Fi but I can't remember. I had so many choices. I didn't get any capture cards, even though I really wanted one because I plan to make videos like this. Um, not necessarily a gaming video channel, but I do play video games a lot, and I figured why not capture it once in a while. Um, and this is the other thing, the Origin Maximum PC shipping process, which is like the picture shows, you get a case, your video, your computer in a case with like foam and everything to keep it safe, and it's a wooden case. It's really awesome. and Every computer I built from the gaming thing came with this for free. Um, once or twice I looked at some of the other ones and it was like a $50 upgrade to do this. So I don't know if it's just the March and February options, but it it, it came free and it's really awesome. Um, that's one of the main things I got this for because this and the warranties, uh, you know, computers have problems, you know, parts have problems. It doesn't matter where you buy it from or who you buy it from can't guarantee it's going to thing. That's why I was looking at Staples and stuff originally or Walmart and Target and all that because I wanted a place where I could return the computer in person with none of the hassle of online returns 
if something went wrong. Because I've had pretty bad experiences over the years with computer parts, you know, graphics cards that just didn't work or whatever. And I wanted to buy something I could return easily, you know, but none of them had anything in stock or available that was decent or a good price. So I came here and this is one of the main reasons I got, you know, the good shipping process uh, and the pretty good warranty. Um, even if you don't pay anything extra, you get, you know, support and labor and all that free and up to 45 days of free shipping to return it if something's broken um you know something's not working or broken or damaged or whatever they made a mistake whatever and then for 99 dollars, you can extend that return free shipping return warranty for a year i did that because um you know, again, something might go wrong, and it's usually within a couple months to a year that something goes wrong if you get a computer, in my experience. Um, every other time I had a return warranty that was shorter, like 30 days, or in some cases like Staples, I had a computer that was only 15 days or so. You have to really push your computer to its utmost really fast to ever notice something wrong within that short of a time period, you know. And I think after that, you're dealing with the manufacturer warranty, which is usually not easy. Um, but this lets you have free return shipping, which is a pretty big thing because this computer, when I looked at it, weighed 80 pounds, they said, to ship. And it would have cost something like $100 to ship once one way, let alone them and back if you had to pay for repairs after the shipping warranty is gone. So I found that to be really important. Um, and, you know, the fact that they even offer it just sort of tells me that they stand behind their products and it's not just a scam page. Um, but you go and you keep and continue and then you'll get to this is after this is pretty much just the promotional options and stuff. Sorry, my internet's slow and it's taking a while to load. There we go. And here we go. Um, and this is just the last option that shows you, you get almost always get a free mouse pad. Uh, I got a free t-shirt for this particular brand. Um, I picked the biggest possible because in my experience, t-shirts shrink. Um, and I never had a problem with a, too big of a t-shirt, but whatever fits you. Um, and then these are all the stuff you can buy separately, you know, keyboards and mice and monitors and stuff. That will significantly increase your price. And from what I install, almost all of these, none of these were any different than if you bought it somewhere else. But, you know, they're nice to have. Um, and they off, even offer what browser they want to install on your computer and stuff like that. And then the other thing that's really cool is um, <clears throat> I get free shipping based on special deals or the fact that almost all gaming computers seem to have free shipping. As long as you don't pick two-day or special or hybrid or whatever. And the other thing is you don't pay any taxes. Um, whatever... Uh, Taxes that are involved, I guess they add automatically, but they whatever the price was listed there is not changed. Um, it said 3158 when I bought it, and it said 3158 when I hit OK. It didn't add anything for shipping. It didn't add anything for taxes. So unlike buying it at, you know, most places, um, it, the price doesn't change. The only thing I will say that I was somewhat disappointed with at first is um, the status of my product. I, I bought it on the 12th of March and I got an email almost automatically saying they confirmed my purchase and then like within a day I got an email from their seller person saying that um, my thing was been purchased and it'd be reviewed and that it was estimated to ship on the 26th which is like four days from now um, time of recording and the funny thing is, is up until like maybe the 21st at night, because I noticed it in the morning of the 22nd, it just said processing on the status of the order. It hadn't done anything. And I was actually a little bit worried because, um, you know, I thought maybe it would be delayed because they hadn't told me anything, no emails or anything since then. Oh, it's 1,093, might have, but still. Um, and they had this thing of order created and, you know, it said order created, selected, assembly, integration, and all these steps. 
but it was still stuck on processing for almost the entire period because you know they gave themselves about two weeks to make my order and I was a little worried that it'd be delayed because of you know graphics card shortage or something but they didn't even tell me anything and it's only four days until it's supposed to ship so I was a little worried but finally it has said order created although that is the very first step so I'm still a little worried that it's going to be delayed but um, so far this is my origin PC uh, buying process uh, thanks for listening and um, I hope to have some sort of unboxing video later um, obviously it's going to be kind of crappy because uh, the only camera I have is some old Logitech webcam um, it's you know detachable and all that so I can move it around but I don't know about the quality or if it'll work at all I'll at least take a couple stills I don't even have a cell phone to take a picture of with it so but you know I just thought I'd show this because when I was actually looking this up, it's really hard to find videos or reviews of Origin. Like, there's a couple, and they're all glowing, and they're all very professional, but they don't look like somebody who bought the computer. They're more like somebody who got the computer for free or whatever. And if you click on this community thing, the forum is sort of worrying in that there's almost no activity in there at all. And I've seen a lot of hole-in-the-wall websites have a humongous forum of people that just chat all the time you know but you know most of these things are months dead you know even the general page and then if you look at it it's like one comment and nothing else you know some of these pages haven't even been had a comment in years um, I mean let's get past the pins but yeah I mean you know one response from the developer is it and that was months ago you know um, and then the next one down is 2016 this is the general page and almost nobody posts here I mean that's just weird um, even has a section about bragging about your computer and nobody posts there and then some of it has to deal with the fact that the account you make to save things and buy is different than the form an account you have to make a separate one just for this I guess but still, you know, it's just weird to have a place like this with no traffic at all in their forums. I mean, it's just weird. It, it, it did sort of make me a little bit worried, but I went through with the purchase anyway, and I hope it turns out okay. Um, but uh, this is the end, and thanks for listening.